If you like me, I love brain books. I love studying how the brain works. All these like shortcuts that have come, come out at the field of uh, neurobiology, neuropsychology has just, you know, absolutely exploded. But let me talk about brain rules. I think it's one of the best books on the brain you can you can read because it you can actually apply it. It's not only interesting, he gives you a lot of tips to apply it. So let's quickly look at it. This is our oh, John Medina. Okay. So uh, he looks at what boosts brain power. <clears throat> he talks about all sorts of things, including memory, attention, while we don't pay attention, sleep, what it does to the brain, stress, sensory, vision, gender, and exploration. But he does it in a really good way, and I'll tell you why I particularly like his books. After every chapter, he gives a quick summary. So even if you don't read the whole book, you can, you can get quite a lot from the summary, although you'd probably miss out on quite a bit. Okay, so he talks about how our brains are built for walking 12 miles a day, and to improve your thinking skills, you move. You know that he actually recommends that as you, if you want to think, go for a walk, go for a slow walk. And he tells you the reasons why this is. I'll go to another chapter. Um, you know, we talk about uh, teaching uh, children and he talks about how our brains are wired differently, why some kids learn differently uh, than others. But I think one of the most important things he, he talks about is the skill of how we rush to try and make our, uh, our kids cleverer and this is you know instead of not paying attention to emotional stability he talks about really teaching the parents okay he talks about memory I think this is an issue for all of us but it's uh, uh, about repeat to remember and long-term memory is remembering to repeat but he gives you some really good tips on how you can uh, remember things including if you you can improve your chance of remembering if you reproduce the environment in which you first put it into your brain so like playing a piece of music when you have to learn something and then just recalling the piece of music when you um, need to recall it in an exam I find that very useful while I'm doing my my masters okay sorry yeah was the uh, talking about parents and emo uh, providing an emotionally stable uh, world for a baby if you really want their brain to develop well um, he doesn't just so he doesn't just give you information. He tells you how to do it. I love this chapter. Uh, it's changed the way of how I present uh, things, and it's called toss. Uh, in the last little sections, called toss your PowerPoint presentations. It's really because you communicate more with pictures or animations than you actually do with words, and our brains are wired for this. We, we, when we walked the savanna, that was certainly the case. Very interesting chapter on gen gender and how why women may be perceived more emotionally, but how they actually pick up a lot more data points in their environment. Um, quite an interesting discussion. Um, I think this book is fabulous, especially if you are into improving your memory uh, and how learning how your brain works. Um, if you've got any sort of learning you need to do, um, for me this brain is a must, go off to your library and get it or order it. Um, for me it was an airport buy and certainly one of one of the better airport buys I've had. Okay, thank you.